Brady was the best. Not even Big Don or Lefty Fitzsimmons could beat him. His strength, his accuracy, and his stamina made him a champion. And his being a champion made him my hero. O'Grady, the spitting hero. Again, Florence? Can I be excused? Enough with the spitting already. Leave the boy alone. He does well in school. What do you want from him anyway? I want just once for someone to recognize me in the market and rave about my son's spitting. Is that too much? Hello? Jenny Sue. This is Jonathan from English class. Blonde hair? I, I called you last week. Oh. Hi. Look, um, I was, I was wondering, um, well, um, I was, uh... Jonathan, do you need the homework again? Yeah. I, I, I forgot to write it down. Chapters eight and nine. Like, you're the one who gets all the A's. I should be calling you. Yeah. Maybe next time. Mr. O'Grady? Mr. O'Grady? Hey, uh, good match, O'Grady. Great match, O'Grady. Must have cleared Big Don by two feet. Damn, he's good. <laughs> you waiting for me? You want something from me? Um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you. Interviews go through my secretary. No, I'm not a reporter, you see. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a fan. Autograph? Well, I, I've already got it 200 times. No, wait. Two hundred and six times. What is all this? You're incredible, O'Grady. I've never seen anything like it. I've been to every match you've ever been in. What's that? That's the winning shot from the city finals last year. Oh, oh, that's from San Diego. I, I went down there and picked that up. This is the winning shot from Nationals two years ago. I didn't actually scoop this one up. I bought it. But it was worth it, because I figure this is, this is going to be worth a lot someday. You want a team? No, but, but I used to be. I, I was younger, and I had braces, and I wasn't very good. You want to try again? Yeah. Meet me in my office at four. I had the messages of Brady. The Herald called twice. So did the Post, the Times, and the school paper. They all want interviews. Your mother called. She wants you home at seven for dinner. No excuses. 
I sent out almost 100 press shots today. These need your signature. Here is your term paper for history, and your science paper is due on Friday. But I need a check before then. Speak to my parents. I don't handle that. Um, Mr. O'Grady? Who's that? Who's that? This is Redmond. Held the spitting title 38 years in a row. Practically invented the sport. Taught me everything I know. Wow. Well, where is he now? Is that all? Oh, Friday's match was pushed from 11 to 3 so the networks could cover it. You had a midterm at that time, but I took care of it. You'll get B plus, good work, watch your spelling. Fine. Something to drink? No. You? A, a Coke. Coke? Uh, never mind, Janet. Thanks. Did I say something wrong? Coke? You know what carbonation does to your mouth? Mm. It dries it up. Do you know what a dry mouth does to your spitting? Well, stops it, blocks it. Where are you gonna get your saliva from? Right, right. And even if you get enough for one spit, what if you go into overtime? I never thought about that. Citrus fruits, juices, apricot, orange, lime, pineapple, papaya. I didn't think about that. Look, kid, I've got a lot of work to do. You wanna learn how to spit, right? Make the team? Call Larry LaPelle. His clinic's great. He taught Lefty Fitzsimmons everything he knows. What's the matter, kid? Well, I was kind of hoping you could teach me. Me? I don't have time. Larry's great. I'll give him a call for you. Tell him you're coming. I, I won't let you down, O'Grady. I'll work really hard. I'll practice every day. You're gonna need a partner when you go on tour next month. Look, kid, I'm in training. I don't have time. You know... You know, my parents give me hell about not being on that team. And I've been trying to ask out Jenny Sue since freshman year. I need to make it on that team, and you're the only one who can do it for me. I'll buy you lunch every day, O'Grady. I've seen you eat, and that's, that's no small offer. I don't know. I'll do your office work. I'll, I'll, I'll be anything you want me to be. Your trainer, your manager, your friend. T-M-T-L Throat, mouth, tongue, lips That's all you gotta know Clear Gather Hold Spit Hey, what? <laughs> Curvature of the tongue is crucial Lip control too 80% of all misfires occur from lip interference no breads, no starches. You don't want to dry up your mouth. The wind is very important. You have to measure it, and you have to use it to the best of your advantage. Stick with the wind, not against it. All right, let's try it again. Mathematics. Height versus pitch versus distance. How much angle to get the best distance? It's important to memorize the feeling of what that is. Be sure never to let your mouth get out of shape. Breathing's very important. It's not the amount of air you draw. It's how it travels through your system. Build the strength in your jaw, your neck, your tongue. And you practice, practice, practice. And maybe then you'll be good enough to go to the finals with me. An exciting moment in sports history today, folks. O'Grady, no first name listed, has just clinched his position on the U.S. team and now looks to see who his partner will be. 
Lefty Fitzsimmons seems to be the obvious choice. Yet a chance will be given to Jonathan. No last name listed. Jonathan's at the line now. Lefty's score of 29 and a half feet is almost a foot and a half longer than Jonathan's longest shot to date. The pressure's on. Wouldn't it be ironic if Jonathan and O'Grady made the team? Two great athletes, one goal, one name. Clear. Gather. Hold. Spit. Honey, I won another match today. Jonathan, you're my hero. And Jonathan has won himself a place on the national team. What a day for this young star. Welcome the great O'Grady and Jonathan to Talk Sports with Jack Michael. Come on, kid. Go for it. Go for it. You can do it. Go for it. a city that is represented by such superior athletes as I'm surrounded by right now. From the five-time champion Great O'Grady and his partner Jonathan to this year's second place team of Big Don and Lefty Fitzsimmons. I can only wish you continued success and say I'm proud to be your mayor. O'Grady was wrong. How about a big hand for these great athletes? It's nothing. What In a tragedy today in the world of sports, world champion spitter, the great O'Grady, at a city hall benefit today, burned his tongue while sipping a cup of tea. O'Grady was rushed to Booth Memorial Hospital, where Dr. Benjamin stood by waiting to begin working on this sports legend, as America stands by waiting for an answer. We interviewed Dr. Benjamin on the seriousness of the injury. Of course it's serious. An athlete of O'Grady's type is always in danger when coming into contact with tea, coffee, cider, or any other hot beverage. I don't know what brought O'Grady to do it. As for myself, I can only do my best and hope that that's good enough. Dr. Williams to radiology. Dr. McCarthy to ICU. You can see him now. go to Louisville, O'Grady. I'm not going to let you miss the finals. I have no feeling in my tongue. Don't say that. You're going to get it back. I'll make sure you do. We're gonna, we're gonna try it again, okay? All right, 
Now clear. Good, good. Gather. Hold. All right. Now spit. You're not even trying, O'Grady. I won't let you stop. All right, all right. Now try it again. All right, gather. Hold. O'Grady, you're not even listening to me. I won't let you quit. You can do it, O'Grady. You can do it. Sir, I'll take you back to the car. I'm scared to leave him alone. He doesn't look good. Well, maybe we could get him a full-time private nurse. You know, put a TV in here so he can watch the matches. That'll make him happy. Jenny, I want you to stay with him. Me? Jonathan, I never miss the finals. He needs the company. So we'll get him a nurse. That's company. He needs someone that'll make him laugh. So get him a stand-up nurse. Look, Jonathan, I don't want to miss the finals. I already bought a dress for the awards party and everything. Pushed all my tests around. Jenny, we're talking about O'Grady here. Fine, I'll stay with him. Jonathan, what's wrong? It's just that a, a year ago you would have given your life for him. Now you don't even care. It's not true, Jonathan. It's just that... I already had my dress him. Oh, well, then go to Louisville. I'll stay here with him. I, I don't even care about the finals. I'll just default. Jonathan, you can't default. No one defaults. Either you stay or I stay. I'll stay with him. I'll watch it on TV or something. We'll celebrate when I get back, okay? Sir, there's gotta be traffic. I'm gonna do it for us, O'Grady. I know you will. You're the champ. No. You'll... Um... You'll always be the champ, O'Grady. Down by two feet? Man, I would have loved to have seen his face. <laughs> oh, there's this one nurse, Phyllis. Absolutely gorgeous. She keeps bending down farther and farther every time she gives me my medication.
tell them to hold on it until we can get back to L.A. and do it with O'Brady. Oh, they don't want O'Brady. The story's on your emergence as champion. It's on both of us if there's no story. Left these rope, we work well together. Jonathan! Don't be late. Test tomorrow. Jonathan, reports are that once O'Grady's better, he'll quit. Any comments? Athletes with O'Grady's talent don't quit. They retire. Jonathan, something the past few months that you've been carrying O'Grady? Is it uh, his injury a blessing in disguise? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that you uh, What the hell, hell is that you? supposed to mean? It means mean? you're better than get me. Get the hell out of here. Someone get him the hell out of here. O'Grady will be back. He's not going anywhere. You know what I'm drinking? Coke. My first one since third grade. Hey, I'm gonna be home tomorrow, Grady, with the trophy. And then we're gonna start working out. We're gonna be back next year together, okay? I've had long enough, John. I'm just glad I have someone to give it to. Hi. He sounds bad. Did anyone come to see him this week? Any cards? No. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna forget about the finals. I'm, I'm just gonna come home tonight. Jonathan, you can't. This is everything you've worked for. But what about O'Brady? I, I mean, without him, none of this would have happened anyway. I'm his only friend. I'll be right here with him. We'll watch you on TV. I miss you. Do you miss me? Jonathan's final, final shot, shot of the match. match. He has to clear 31 feet. feet. He takes a deep, deep breath. breath. Set, aim. <laughs> 32 feet, 5 inches. And Jonathan has just won the 55th annual Louisville Finals. Not since the great O'Grady has his sport been so dominated as it is now by the new United States champion, Jonathan.
fan sneaked into my hotel room. He told me I was his idol, showed me books full of stats and autographs and photos. He even had little bags of award-winning shots of mine from over the year. I suppose at any other time it would have seemed like a wonderful moment, but then I would have traded it all in just to see my friend O'Grady again. Thank you.